60 metre sprint, but also coming well is Kaboko. Curly's got work to do, but Coleman's got this. Has he? No, Tabaka's looking over. Goodness me, Tabaka wins it. This 100 metre face off in Rome was much anticipated as most of the 100 metre and 200 metre Olympic medalists were set to go against each other. While some aimed to bounce back from the Olympic loss, others, Tabogo especially, had no plans to let the others outrun him. Even days before the event, the Wanda Diamond League meeting in Rome had been making noise in the sports community since it is expected to be a world-class field. It was earlier announced that Olympic medalists Letzile Tabogo, Kashane Thompson, and Fred Curley will go head-to-head -head in the event. Meanwhile, reigning Diamond League champion Christian Coleman planned to bounce back from his Olympic disappointment with a third Diamond League win of the season, while Kenya's Ferdinand Omanyala, Jamaica's Akeem Blake, and Japan's Abdul Hakim Sani Brown are also part of the roster. It goes without saying that each of them wants to prove something to the world. For one, Jamaica's Kishini Thompson, who earned silver in Paris in the men's 100 meter, wanted to dominate the track this time. He planned to do it in Rome after he lost his chance to do so in Poland when he withdrew from the Silesia Diamond League. By way of explanation, he cited discomfort caused by a hamstring injury he picked up in the semifinals of the Olympic Games. And so, because fans missed him in Siesia, they were looking forward to seeing him in Rome. However, a day before the competition, fans realized that the Jamaican had pulled out of his second consecutive meet. It is worth noting that Thompson has seen his promising career repeatedly disrupted by injuries. Over the past few years, he has dealt with a variety of physical issues that have kept him from competing consistently. The young sprinter only made his Diamond League debut last July, highlighting how his injuries have delayed his progression in the sport. Notably, Thompson has yet to compete in a World Championships, a stark reminder of the impact injuries have had on his career. The hamstring problem that has plagued Thompson for weeks forced him to withdraw from both the Silesia and Rome Diamond League meets this season. This setback came after his silver medal run in Paris, putting a halt to what could have been a breakthrough year for the sprinter. Thompson has previously spoken about the frustration of being injury prone, acknowledging how these setbacks have affected his career. In an interview, he shared, in terms of potential, I know I got it together with the coaching staff, but setbacks are a really bad thing. You could be so talented and you have the right management team, but the simplest setbacks can be the greatest ones. He went on to admit the harsh reality of his situation. Sad truth is that I am injury prone and I hate to admit it. This meant that he wasn't able to stand alongside the others in the starting line in Rome. Nevertheless, the Golden Gala lived up to the expectations as athletes produced electrifying performances. In the men's 100 meter particularly, Letzile Tabogo, Christian Coleman, Fred Curley, Akeem Blake, Sani Brown Abdul Hakim, Kyrie King, Ferdinand Omanyala, Jeremiah Azu, and Marcel Jacobs were all determined to cross the finish line first. And, as you all know, they all have a chance to do so. Fred Curley won the 100 meter in Silesia in 9.87. The Olympic bronze medalist was prepared for a showdown with silver medalist Kishane Thompson. But as already mentioned, the Jamaican did not race. Meanwhile, American Christian Coleman is on a redemption tour as he didn't make the US team in the 100 meter and his brilliant opening leg in the 4x100 will be forgotten in the wake of the team's disqualification. Although Letzil Tobogo might be overraced at this point, his presence in the field will keep things interesting. That he did. By the end of the race, it was the new 200 meter Olympic champion who once again took the win. It may have been Coleman who had the strongest start, leading through the first half of the race, but Tobogo, who also started quickly, made up ground. But by the time Botswana's new Olympic hero was in full stride, Coleman didn't really stand a chance. As Tobogo overtook Coleman, he stretched out both arms to his side in a rare show of showboating, even with still 15 meters to go in the race, in the full knowledge that he had won, even easing up to the line. There didn't need to be any wild celebrations for Tobogo after the race. A big grin on his face and his hands held up with his fingers in a W sign said it all as he turned to face good friend Curly 
who gestured with his hands to his eyes, as if to say, we're all watching you. The Olympic 200 meter champion eased off with 15 meters to go and glanced back at his competitors as he crossed the line in 9.87 seconds. Former world champions Christian Coleman and Fred Curley, both from the United States, finished in second and third with times of 9.92 and 9.95 seconds, respectively. Great Britain's Jeremiah Azu was eighth in 10.17 as the home favorite and Tokyo Olympics champion Marcel Jacobs came last in the nine-man field. The home crowd went home a bit disappointed anyway, as many Italian stars had flat performances. The 2020 Olympic gold medalist Marcel Jacobs was clearly still nursing an injury as he shut down his 100-meter race early and finished in last place. But just because it ended sadly for some doesn't mean it is the same for others. I meditated before the race and it went how I wanted it to be, Tobogo said. 2024 was my year. It concluded a memorable week for Tobogo, who met Pope Francis a few days prior. What's more, it was Tobogo's third Diamond League victory since the Olympics, having also won 200 races in Lausanne, Switzerland, and Chorzow, Poland, over the past several days, which all came after a celebration back home in Botswana with the country's president. American sprinter Christian Coleman shared his emotional response after securing second place in the 100-meter Rome Diamond League meet event. The high-profile track and field competition part of the prestigious Diamond League series, saw Coleman narrowly miss out on the top spot by clocking 9.92 seconds. The Rome Diamond League was the athlete's first race after a disappointing Olympic campaign that included a disqualification in the men's 4 by 100 meter relay. Anyhow, this was the athlete's first 100 meters since the U.S. Olympic trials, where he failed to qualify for Team USA. Coleman was open about his feelings and revealed, I felt a little rusty, just because I mean, I haven't run an open 100 since trials. And you know what I mean, changing a lot in my personal life, my training, and everything. So, I feel good for coming back. Despite the second place finish and that playful showmanship from Tobogo, Coleman stayed positive. I was doing my best to try and put myself in the best possible situation there. I feel like I've been doing everything I needed to do on my part. It just didn't happen. He added, I've just got to be mentally, spiritually, and physically aligned to be at my best, and I just felt like making that change would give me the best shot at doing that. That's right, there's still the final. The 2024 Wanda Diamond League final will be held in Brussels from September 13th to 14th. Now that's worth waiting for. It would be interesting to say the least. Some would be determined to conclude the 2024 season with a back to win. Obviously, those would be the Paris 2023 Olympic medalists. The others, on the other hand, specifically those who failed to medal in France, are intent on doing so this time around. Here's how athletes have been faring post-Olympics.